The increased Islamic violence across northern and central Africa took main stage at the United Nations Security Council on Thursday. Broad measures to address conflict in countries such as Mali, Libya and Nigeria were among the primary concerns for the new UN Special Envoy to that region. CCTV's Li Ling Tan reports. From increasing terrorism to weak governance to severe shortages of resources, the countries of Africa's Sahel region need help from the international community. If the international community does not improve coordination, then the limited resources that have been made available so far will not have the desired impact. In her first briefing to the UN Security Council, new Special Envoy for the Sahel, Hirud Gabre Selassie, provided a status report on UN strategy for a region that stretches from Mauritania to Eritrea on efforts underway to strengthen security and governance and find long-term solutions to humanitarian challenges. Security was a key focal point, particularly for Mali, which was also under the spotlight this week at the Security Council when the UN mission in Mali, MINUSMA, provided a situation report Wednesday. CCTV spoke with the head of the group following the update. The situation in Mali has deteriorated in the last couple of months uh, because of incidents in one of the northern towns, Kidal. And we see again that the northern part of the country is occupied by armed groups uh, and that the situation is fragile. Therefore, Security Council has discussed this this morning and made very clear that there is no military option to solve this and that parties have to talk as soon as possible in negotiations. Libya is also an area of growing concern with little progress seen in the country's democratic transition. The special envoy also warned that the dramatic surge in attacks conducted by Boko Haram and the conflict and state collapse of the Central African Republic are further destabilizing the region. Selassie stressed, too, that the humanitarian situation remains extremely fragile, with 20 million people facing food shortages, 5 million children at risk of acute malnutrition, and high levels of youth unemployment that make them targets for recruitment by extremist groups. Selassie added that a regional strategy should center on youth employment as well as be inclusive of civil society and religious and tribal leaders, while also strengthening state institutions and improving coordination between governments and nations. Lilington, CCTV, New York.